it's me your little boy okay samson i have something authentic unique for us let me put this thing in my pocket before you shoot the, my working instrument you know what i'm saying so let me tell you you are not going what you are going through because god don't love you you know they don't want you to know that you are specially made <laughs> you know what i'm saying they don't want you to know that you are authentically what made you know what i'm saying your enemies truly do not want you to discover how special unique you are you know what i'm saying so that is why they are trying by all means to make you feel like you are going through what you are going through because god don't love you hey <laughs> god you know what I'm saying? So don't be convinced by what you are going through. Don't be convinced that God don't love you. And because of that, you are going through this, you are going through that. God truly loves you. That is why he is absolutely giving you that strength, giving you that motivation, letting you to go through what you are going through in order for you to become more stronger in this world. Because a man without a, bo a, a bottle is like a bucket without a water. It makes the light just what noise. So you need to understand as an individual that the reason why God is coaching you, the reason why God is allowing you to go through what you are going through. And when you look at your life, you can easily identify and figure out that not everyone is going through what you are going through. It's because God has something bigger for you. Because most times, me people missed on that quote or missed on the, me make us to misunderstand the fact that you are going through what you are going through because God don't care or God does not care or God have no good intention towards you. They try to be you know to brainwash you. They try to take the, the the advantage of what you are going through. They try to make you feel like God don't love you. God is not in love with you. God is not caring about you. God don't wish you well. God don't have good plan for you. But that is not the real what realistic. That is not the real truth. So God allow you to go through what you are exactly going through today because He knows that there is a great future for you. You know, people, some people may argue this, but let me give you an example. If you have heard about Esther, you, you have heard about this famous story in the, in the Bible called Joseph or David, you understand that they are the ones who go through the worst. They are the ones who suffer the most. They are the ones who are being betrayed. They are the ones who are being abused, but yet... Their testimony shocked what the generation to generation that we are today. Their testimony keep what keep black sin everywhere. So what am I trying to tell you is this: God is not allowing you to go to what we are going through because He does not love you. No, God is allowing you to face that challenges right now, or God have allowed you to go some certain stuff that when you remember them, you ask yourself, why me? Why me? Because God has something that at the end you will also repeat the same word. Why am I blessed the most? Why am I favored the most? Why am I doing well the most? Why? Because you have gone through what others have no idea of. So you need to understand this. You are going through what you are right now going through is because greater is ahead of you. Remember, blessed brothers. So don't don't feel bad because you are what you are going through. What you are going through, because the thought of God is greater than what you are going through right now. Remember, blessed.